What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Conqueror's Bad for Day Blind. In the last episode, we fought the Great Mighty Pooh and collected a little bit more cash that we had found lying around the overworld, and then struggled quite a bit to figure out what to do next. I spent a lot of time adventuring, trying to figure out what to do, before I eventually looked it up. That water area with an open door seemed like where I needed to go next, or where I could go next to find some sort of money, um, and it turns out that's actually the case. However, what I didn't realize is this is Conker's Bad Fur Day, a game that breaks all the rules. And so when I saw the sign that said no poo balls, I should have I should have realized that it was referring to no poo balls in the lake specifically. So we're gonna break that rule. <laughs> and take out this guy here. Perfect timing with the soundtrack, too. Wait, he's walking around covered in that now? Can't say I recommend that, friend, but... Alright. Now that we've done that, uh, we're gonna wait for these... These guys to swim away so we have somewhat of a chance of getting by. And, ah, uh, so he, can, he doesn't know that we're here now. To my knowledge, at least. So we'll jump on this? Yeah. And that is going to flush. No, not the fish! Whenever I see fish like that, I can't help but think of Finding Nemo. But importantly, we're gonna flush all of these guys down, too. <laughs> Try as you might, I don't think it's gonna be too successful, friend. Alright, well. Oh, interesting. So it didn't drain the entire swamp, per se. It uh, it just flushed down those guys, but we're still able to swim across. So what are we going to find ourselves in this time? I'm curious. A new world based on what? Are there supposed to be catfish? Offering me cash. Okay. Well, what's the catch? Well, there's this awful, awful brute swimming around. He's terrible and he's stolen a valuable <laughs> We need somebody disposable to go in and, well, get rid of him. Ah, uh, me, you mean. Well, you can't expect one of us to go, can he, ladies? We're blue blooded, don't you know? Well, <laughs> I gotta watch out for myself. Oh dear, what language? Don't worry, dear. He's as common as muck. Common as dirt like that. This is dreadful, isn't it? Let me handle it, dear. Listen, here, you, listen to me. We'll give you 10%. And that's our final offer. Now. 10%? Of? Yes. But one thing to remember. Shh, shh, shh. Come closer. He's easily wound up. Mm, yes. Oh, and by the way, the safe has a combination. Yes, you know what that means? Well, when it's not dangerous down there for us, mm -hmm, come back and we'll open it for you. Well, good luck. Go on. <laughs> the voice acting in this game is, is incredible. Hang on a sec. What was that about disposable? Hey. Oh. Well, well, cash. <laughs> Conker's like, all right, say what you want. Cash is, at the end of the day, What's gonna speak to conquer? So, do I, did I hear some cash? Do I hear something? Yeah, look at all that cash up there. We're gonna wanna do what we can to get that. So, all right, um, do we do we need any health? No, we're good. Okay, we've got a, we got a bulldog. In order, or bulldog fish, a dog fish, maybe that's what they wanna say <laughs> to take care of. Not sure how we're going to do that just yet, but we'll pick ourselves up another extra life and hope for the best, right? That bulldog reminds me, I don't know if any of you guys have seen Tom and Jerry, but it looks almost like a picture-perfect replication. Listen to that music. How ominous. Alright, we'll head in this direction. He gets easily wound up. 
So what do we have to do then? He's on to us. But at the same time, he's on that... That thing, right? He's chained. I uh, get the impression we either need to swim down there ourselves or get him to uh, come on down that way. <laughs> Listen to like the Jaws music. All right, well, uh, it doesn't seem like he's able to drag that, which makes sense. Um, I cannot tell where I'm going. There we go, camera. Much better. Where are we? What did we just swim into? I don't know. What kind of a, huh, are we on the, in wait, are we on the inside of the safe? The vault? Is that, is that where we are? It looks like these, <laughs> These gears, instead of a stachioed gear, and this one looks like you see better days. Why is it everybody so offensive around here? Uh, they bring me back, me missing coach. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to shout. I'm deaf. Speak up, oh, f up. Hmm. Hang on a second. Well, hello. Oh my goodness. Aren't you the handsome one? Tell me. Would you be prepared to do me a small favor? A little help, of course. Hi. And, um, yes, I would. Maybe. You see, my other self has lost a few of his, uh, shall we say, friends. Mm. And if you don't get them back, my life will be a misery. It already is. And? Just get them back. There's a good fellow. Ta 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 ta. You sweat. The split personalities. <laughs> that's really funny. Interesting. So that's presumably where we're going to find those cogs, and then once we find the cogs, we can run around on this in order to spin them and do something more important, I guess. So we'll head on up here and see what we find. Not really sure. Ah, more bats. <laughs> That's really funny. The same uh, gag from before. <clears throat> okay, so we got some tight... What? A flamethrower? Why did we just do that? If it's not going to be effective at all. Okay, so we have access to a flamethrower, which I'd imagine we're supposed to use to uh, attack the bats, but I can't see the bats at all. Maybe the idea, maybe part of the joke there is that, well, they're bats and they can't see, so you're supposed to use sound just like they would to, to attack them. But what, how did I miss that? Um, but it's alright, we have, we have plenty of health. Alright, let's, uh, let's very comfortably jump onto this platform. And, no, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, man. Oh, man. At the very least, when we were kind of going across that more delicate area, they allowed us to kind of slow down a little bit. Come on. Can I jump? I can. Do I have to use it? I, I heard the cue there, which I think was the important thing. Do I get something for getting rid of all of them? No? Maybe not? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> we may find out if there's another opportunity to... Another opportunity... Can I, can I jump up? Actually... I'm going to try and just jump over to this rope right away. <laughs> I'll, I'll jump on this platform over here for the sake of, you know, making sure I'm not missing anything. But yeah, I would have had to sort of tightrope across there. But luckily I don't now. Oh my goodness. Completely missed. <laughs> Completely missed. I swear, the depth perception. It's gotta be something up with the shadows. It's like this game, Super Mario Sunshine, there are some games that just, you know, f despite all the platformers I play, I cannot figure out depth for the life of me. So there's another rope there, which we can probably just jump straight to, and honestly, 
What? <laughs> We're dead. We're dead. Given, uh, I mean, I thought I was on track and maybe, maybe it's just me. If any of you guys have a similar experience with the depth perception in this game, I'd appreciate the validation. But maybe it looks the same on your guys' end as well. You guys see the platforms and you're shocked to see me fall. But I don't know. Either way, we can uh, give this another go. What? <laughs> oh, man. We'll get there eventually, Conquer. I promise. At the very least, the, the flames stay out for quite some time. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason as to when he... What's it called? When he sort of stops and pauses. But either way, again, not really looking to deal with that. So <laughs> we're just going to do this again. Aim and hope we run into it. Ah, yes, we made it. And again, I don't see anything down there that I'm potentially missing. I hear some cash, which, you know, is always the end goal for Conquer. Where is the cash? Oh, there's one of those things. There are two of those things. And then there's the cash. Wow, okay, so I thought this was actually going to be to find the cogs. Not to just be a side quest for the sake of cash. So the real question then is, where are the uh, the cogs, right? Okay, <laughs> made it. I never know if I'm in the right plane. Am I am I over the center or or what? I hope I'm in the right spot. Okay, luckily the cutscene took off. Which ensured I didn't actually have to make sure. Hey, I'm here. Hurry up. Pick me up. <laughs> Such sassy cash. Well, at the very least... Cool. Laughing all the way down. At the very least, even if we haven't fully gotten every... Oh, we just fell. And we just fell. Even if we haven't gotten everything from this chapter, we now have the thousand dollars that are required for that one other area. So, I think we are more or less in the clear. The real question is going to be, what else can we do in this area, right? So, we didn't find any cogs up there. It was just a sort of side quest for cash. Can we not go that way? I'm trying to look at that. It seems like I should be able to go that way at some point. Maybe I have to unlock it. Maybe that's what gets unlocked by spinning the cogs. I would bet on that, actually. So in the meantime, we'll head up here and figure out what's going on with this bulldog that we swam too close to, unfortunately. And I don't see much else to do. Do you guys? I mean, I'm thinking we'll need to get those cogs and then once we have the cogs, We'll be able to go into that one other area, and then maybe that one other area will allow us to drain this, and then the bulldog will get plugged or something like that, and then we'll be able to get the cash from the, the catfish. But otherwise, I don't think I know anything else to do. Maybe we can activate this safe without them, and the word wrong is a clue? I don't know. I don't know, but I guess we'll head back this way for the time being. Where would we get those cogs? I feel like maybe from the safe mechanism itself, right? Is there anything back here that I missed? I saw that tail, which is helpful because we definitely lost a life or two. We have the catfish here who may or may not be helpful. Yeah, I, I like the music here a lot, I will say. 
Was there anything I missed while climbing up that tower? I really don't think so. Is there any skill I learned here? The flamethrower, maybe? That I could use somewhere else? Again, I still only have exactly a thousand dollars cash, right? So... <laughs> again, I don't think the game would expect me to have, you know, completed everything, right? What is going on with that block? Is there something I can do with it? Can I push it in some manner? That bulldog seems pretty eager to, to get at me. Maybe I'll look around. See if I can find anything of interest. There's that big tower that we just climbed. I can't really see much on top of here. I'll keep trying to climb. But, yeah, no, I don't think that's going to... Whoa, I tried to go first-person camera with the no luck. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... Oh, and he can go underwater, too. He gets all riled up, or he gets easily wound up. The only other thing I can think of is if, like, we try to wind him around the block by going... Nope, nope, nope not in there. Um, by going, you know, underwater, and then going in a circle. Something like that. But that also didn't seem to work, apparently. Okay. Well, I don't know where else we're going to find those cogs. I'd imagine they'll be in this world itself, right? Not hidden in a different area of the overworld. Can I do something in here? Yeah, I mean, that's got to be what happens when I find those cogs. Is there something in this direction that I can access? No. I'll take a look up real quick. Is there something below this platform once I jump on it to, to activate it? Nope, doesn't seem so. Then I don't know, guys. I'm a little bit hard-pressed, again, for information. I guess we can just go and progress the story for now. I feel like, at this point, I should be able to... I feel like each of these worlds is relatively isolated, you know? It's something that I should be able to complete this whole world. Come on, Conquer. Can we, can we swim where I want to go? Thanks. <laughs> where I should be able to complete the story for an area solely within that world, right? I shouldn't have to bring something from another aspect of it in in order to complete it. But right now, that seems to be the case. Or I'm just not thinking of something. Is there another area I could have gone to within that tower? Right, like when I was at the very top and got the cash, was there maybe a different direction I could have gone to unlock a separate area of the level? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. What happens if I go underwater here? Anything interesting underneath this bridge? Doesn't appear to be the case. Alright, well... It seems rather anticlimactic to unlock the place just for one, one cash reward, right? Is there a way to get up the waterfall? Hmm. I don't know, guys. Can I talk to the catfish again? No, no contact sensitive button. All right, well then, in the interest of time and, well, interest itself, I guess, <laughs> um, I'll head over to where we were looking to progress before, just so we have something to do this episode, and, and maybe I'll look into it next episode. What is this? What does this actually go into? Maybe this is going to lead behind the waterfall. Can I be? Can I go in this drain? Did I die? Is that what happens? Looks like it. <laughs> Alright, so nothing in that particular drain. 
then I guess we'll head on over to that area where there were the two guards. I believe we go through the, the poo area in order to get there. Ah, uh, yes, and we gotta swim through those blades. Oh boy, let's hope we don't run into too many troubles this time around. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. We got through it once. Sure we can do it again. Okay. There we go. But yeah, I feel like I should be able to complete that world now that I have access to it, right? Maybe there's a context-sensitive panel I didn't find maybe I have to use the flamethrower in some other context and I just didn't find where that was supposed to be I don't know really honestly but oh well I guess we'll uh, we'll see what we can do and hope for the best <laughs> ah we got hit and so the struggles continue That's right, though. They provide us with a nice extra life here. Probably because they know that it's pretty intense to get through this area without... Or pretty difficult, rather, to get through this part without getting hit by any of the blades. Which I should say is another thing to consider. You know, why is it an instant death as opposed to just taking some damage? It's a little bit surprising. I feel like it'd be a lot more manageable. <laughs> If it were the case. Because now it seems like a swimming skill barrier to accessing the next part of the game, right? And I would understand if the rest of the game were designed in such a way that that was a skill that was being selected for and refined over time, right? You know, if you need to get cash by swimming particularly, you know, quickly or strategically or, or whatever it may be, um, that would be something I understand. But for the time being, you know... Getting good at swimming has not been a priority of the game. We are so close to dying there. <laughs> but we made it. So now we have access to that area. And maybe we'll have a little bit more luck with that. But first, climbing. And I think like last time, we can actually just jump right off this rope into the ladder. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> that climbing animation. <laughs> His arms. Pretty funny looking. Okay. We have a thousand dollars. Please let us buy. Yikes. You have to pay the toll. Math knife? There you go. Thousand dollars. Thank you. Can I get past now? Hey. I'm not finished. Uh oh. Yet. We're looking for a squimo. I think, by the description given to me, that you are a squirrel. I am not a squirrel. Yes, you are. <laughs> you fit the description perfectly. Oh, really? And, uh, could you describe this description to me? Well, short, red fur, a big bushy tail, and a twitchy nose. You're a squirrel, all right. And you're coming uh oh with me. look I tell you I'm not a squirrel get your hands off me what are you then I'm an elephant <laughs> squirrels aren't short and furry they're big and gray what yeah that's the twitchy noses they don't have them <laughs> no they're long and fat. <laughs> oh conquer are you sure? <laughs> Gosh, I'm sure. <laughs> See ya. That's hilarious. Conquer pulling a fast one on the guards. Oh, uh, there's nothing like a good <laughs> Now then. Uh, what? Uh, it's alright. It's alright. That's not a squirrel. He's an elephant. <laughs> an elephant. <laughs> You, you the partner's like, oh my goodness. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Let's see. <laughs> ah, nice, nice, nice. I was like, are we really about to lose that cash? Can't use it towards one of the other tolls we're inevitably going to have to pay? I love that Congo just like whistles his money back. Now where are we? With these caricature chibi dinosaurs running all over the place. Got a little bone there. Oh my! So those uh, those dinosaurs don't seem to be too happy to see us. Nor was I able to get my, my frying pan out in time. Yikes. <laughs> so that's good to know. We can obviously go in there, or we can continue across, albeit to an area that I don't think we can really access at the moment. So, I guess we'll head on in, see what we find. Oh, so it just takes us up to the next level where there are going to be more dinosaurs trying to demolish us. So we probably just need to get across the other side, and then we climb up, and we have ourselves some more cash. Lovely. C excuse me, cash? Thank you. <laughs> hey, where the f*** you been, you ginger bastard? Such foul mouth money. Kill. I can put that for the rest of my dead presidents. <laughs> so now what do we have to do? Is there something we can do up here? Again, it would be pretty odd for us to only be able to gain one bit of cash, right? Alright, we'll keep doing this. Wow. Controller's vibrating quite a bit. This is supposed to be like prehistoric themed area. <laughs> With dinosaurs and like cavemen or something. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright, well we'll take the much needed chocolate and explore backwards a little bit. So we could go that way or we can go this way. What is that? Rock squid? Is that what it says? I can't go first person. Rock solid. Makes a lot of sense. Let's give it a go. Who are you? Who are all of these people? We don't like your dad. Wait, why do you have a microphone? No sneakers. No sneakers? Is this is this a club? Oh my goodness. It's a club. That's hilarious. They all have like cigarettes and stuff. This is really funny. What are we supposed to do here, though? Hmm. What is this? Can I move that ball or, or no? Alright, well, well, we'll think about whether or not we can transform or disguise ourselves in some manner. For the time being, can we fight these guys? Probably. Do we gain much from it? Probably not. Yeah, it looks like we just stunned them for the time being. Wait, is this just a dead end or what? It's just a dead end. Oh, okay. Um, I would imagine then... There was a ball, right? Can I not open this? No, okay, so th those are probably breakable walls, if I had to guess. And so then maybe what I need to do is use these rock balls and, and push them like the ball of poo through that area and bowl with them more or less can I do that it's probably this one up here that I can do that with but I need to avoid the rest of the guys yeah that's totally what I need to do all right we'll see what we can do oh man did I hear money No, okay, that's just conquer. So it doesn't quite move as easily as the ball of poo. <laughs> Certainly not, but it's something. Do I have to hit it through? Okay, maybe up here? 
Maybe I have to roll it up first. And then over? But that, that, I don't think that makes sense. So maybe the idea is I don't have enough... What's it called? I don't have enough... Either not a big enough rock or enough speed, right? I don't can't see myself coming up with much of a way to do it faster, though. But I'm pretty sure this is what needs to be done. I need to break this open by some means. The question is, what's going to do that, right? Do I do this again? That's the answer? I can't help but feel like that's not very intuitive. But hey, I guess uh, we'll take it. And now we should be able to gain some momentum. Take out both of those guys in the process. Kill two cavemen with one stone. <laughs> you can see them splat on the boulder as well. Ooh, into the lava. Yikes. <laughs> I love that when the boulders split up, too. It has, like, the, the trademark rare googly eyes. What are you? Right? The King Dodongo? Hey, maestro. Don't you think that's a little bit dramatic? <laughs> Can you give me something with a bit more of a beat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the uh, the self-awareness. So we can go either to the left or the right. We have some cavemen running around that presumably are going to attack us. And we're inevitably going to need to get on top of that Dodongo's head. <laughs> oh, we took fall damage from that? Classic. <laughs> Uh, can we do anything with this? Can we climb up this? No. Okay. Probably have to move it at some point. We, oh, we got a nice context-sensitive button. Oh, to just do this. Well, I guess we can attack the cavemen. They're still just going to be stunned. Oh, they're like worshipping the stone. Okay. I don't see much we can really work with at the moment. I can't aim high enough to get that. Is that something on the wall of interest? Looks a little bit... Well, maybe it will be later on. Because right now it looks way too important otherwise. Okay, so the one on the left doesn't. Ah, so those are switches for that. So we scrolled that up, and then this is to maybe splat something? Let's see, just to be safe. Interesting. Okay, so I think... We'll inevitably need to raise this and get something to stand in there, given the prince that we saw when it came crashing down. Probably a dinosaur friend? Maybe? We'll see. I'm surprised it's not, like, talking to us or anything. Can we get up here? Oh, I thought for sure we'd be able to get up here. Yeah, we can. Oh, and there's just a ramp over here, too. So we can go to the right or the left of this guy. And there's a door. I'm curious to see what's on the left, but I'm sure we'll have the opportunity to explore in just a moment. Where does this lead? Oh my goodness. So that's probably where the left leads. Left leads around that path. I'll keep track of that path as we move along. We've got our friends that are looking to club us down. And it looks like they both lead to the same place, which is this egg we can jump on top of, presumably. And this reminds me, this reminds me of that egg from Bubble Gloop Swamp. I 
I was fairly confident he'd turn into an anvil, but I guess he's raising the egg by sitting on it. I think that's the idea. That's really funny. Yeah, whatever it is, is right. Another dinosaur, a dragon. It's gonna like sound really menacing, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be some cute little thing. <laughs> so we now have a, a dinosaur, a baby dinosaur. Look at it's in a diaper too, at our disposal. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. So I guess what we'll do is, uh, you coming with? Excuse me? You coming? Yeah, come on, bud. We're going this way. Today. We're just basically gonna like feed him the uh, the cavemen. Is that actually what we're doing? I get the impression maybe this is like the baby of that like dinosaur thing outside. And then, oh, wait a minute. So does this one only open with the splat button activated? Sounds like it. So I guess we'll head back the other way. But yeah, I get the impression we're basically going to bring this dinosaur in front of its actual mom. You know, the, the big dinosaur who laid its egg. Come on. Wow, we have to be really close to this thing to get it to actually follow us. Uh, and then we're basically just going to splat it. <laughs> and that's going to get a reaction out of the big dinosaur. Come on. Whew. I love escort missions. <laughs> All right, well, while we have a minute, let's take a look at this area to make sure I'm not missing anything. I doubt it. Can I go in here? I can, but I guess it's not recommended, <laughs> obviously. Seems it comes at the cost of death. Okay. Keep on coming this way, buddy. <laughs> Do you hear that? That little hello. Come on, this way. Hello, beep beep. <laughs> it's so funny. I wonder what its name is. Because you, I know Rare, right? Like, I remember the Banjo-Kazooie credits and everything. It had all of these, like, clever names for all the different characters and enemies and stuff. And I can almost assure you that we're going to get to the end of this game and we're going to find out the name of this little dinosaur thing. It is going to be either, well, potentially both hilarious and cute. Oh my goodness. Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to spend like 15 minutes just trying to get you to follow me. Wait, why is this door closed too? Why is this door closed as well? I left the door. I, I came in both of these doors, right? Okay. You, you with me? Okay, awesome. Let's see if it follows. We're, we've got a cutscene, so probably right direction. Okay. So we'll continue walking around with you for now. Come on, bud. Oh, I see. So the lava is a way of attacking us. And we're trying to hopefully not get the dinosaur killed. 
on our way back. Yep. That's maybe what's going on. I think. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. This way. This way. Hello. This way. Yeah, so we'll take him this way. This way. It's unfortunately this way. still uh, closed, so I guess we can activate this context-sensitive panel and see what happens. I wonder if he can... If he can jump up. I hope there's not a way to lose the dinosaur and then end up having to walk him all the way back again. Oh, I guess he's just helping himself to all of the people around here. <laughs> snacking on him. Yikes. Hello. That's gotta be my favorite. Is this a ramp? It is. Lovely. Come on. We've clearly got to bring you up here. Okay. Can I jump on you, ride you, anything? Alright, well, um... You stay there for a moment, I guess. <laughs> and sorry in advance, friend. It was short-lived, but it was fun, question mark. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Is the big dinosaur gonna save him? Nope. Classic conquers. I am pleased with your Oh what? <laughs> That's not what I expected at all. I thought we were gonna anger this thing by like you know, killing its baby or something. Instead, we please it by making a sacrifice to it. That's hilarious. Okay, so that's gonna allow us to get the cash on top. No, don't, don't move too far forward. So there's its its goopy tongue. Okay. What? Seriously? I thought there was cash up here. The question is, it's probably farther up. So we'll head on up. Where's the cash? There's the cash. Yeah, get back over here. And it looks like there's an extra life as well, which is nice. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I actually really like this environment so far. These types of levels, um, sort of like the the magma, the, like the deep dark cavern. I'm a big fan of them. So now the next question is, can we go inside the mouth of this dragon dinosaur thingy? Or can we go in the nostrils? Do we... Are we trying to uh, make him sneeze? I guess we'll go... No, wait, no, Conquer, don't... Don't just, like, run off, please. What are you doing? Okay. Let, let's wait for... Alright. Now it's time to go. Go, Conquer, go. We trying to make him sneeze? Yeah, that's Pepper. <laughs> that's so funny. not attack. The question is, why does that matter? Is that just supposed to be funny, or... I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I guess we'll head in here. That, that uvula stands out quite a bit. Oh my. It's probably something that harms us. We can go left or right. Which way do we want to go? Let's go left for now. And then we've got another left or right. Oh no, just still. Not not quite a branch. <laughs> Those are these sound effects, guys. <laughs> so funny. Alright, well, we'll keep on going. It seems like the branching paths met up, but maybe not, so... 
I'll explore a little bit more later on. Where are we? Who are you? Oh, okay. See now. Hmm. Ah, we're gonna steal his clothes? Yeah. It kinda fits me. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, so we made it up here. Which is in and of itself pretty cool. Is there any cash up here? No? I don't really want to jump into that egg. <laughs> Although it seems to be what the game is suggesting, right? You know what? Maybe, uh, maybe we just couldn't... I can't choose the, or move the camera around for the life of me. Alright, we're just going to walk forward and see what happens. Okay, not surprised in the slightest, but um, I felt like the game design was telling me to go that way. So it's a little bit of a surprise, but not the end of the world. Anything to the left. We'll see if we can make this jump. Anything down there? I doubt it. I don't think so. So it looks like this... Oh, I see. But there's a good chance you bonk your head and, and um, end up falling anyways. So, alright. We'll head on out. And now we can enter that club, I believe. I wonder if maybe those pathways would have been blocked or clogged up if we hadn't made him sneeze. I don't know. That's quite comfy, there. Uh oh. What? Oh, not these guys. Why are they attacking us? Oh, wait, they're wait, they're worshiping us? Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, please continue to stroke Conqueror's ego. Okay, those rock monster guys up there. Do you like them? Well, I don't like them either. It's time to get rid of them. Sure. So now we're planning an all-out war against those rock guys. Follow me. So that's that's what's going on right now. These guys are gonna follow us, so that we can lead an all-out assault against the the rock monsters up there. That's actually hilarious. To potentially what gain access to this uh, this club. All right, we gotta. All right, come on, all the way over here, so none of us get caught on the ramp. Okay. Now let's go all the way over this way. Everybody on the right path? Come on. Okay, that one guy almost didn't make it. <laughs> no! Don't don't attack my friends! Now my tail is on fire. This guy's coming? All four of them, okay. Please, uh, save your worship for later. What? How did it reach me in here? Alright, we'll pick up a couple guys along the way, I think. Come on. We're missing... We're missing one. What happened to that guy? Is this guy gonna start worshipping us too, or what? How are we missing one? Let me have the first pop, and then they're all yours. Alright, I mean, is that what we're supposed to do, or what? Or are we about to just get absolutely obliterated? Because <laughs> that's kind of what it looks like is happening. I guess I can, like, keep stunning him, like that. And while we'll, we'll see whichever one they go for. And I just keep stunning him. That's hilarious. With the frying pan. And then our three guys are just going to keep on attacking. This guy's throwing up. He's definitely had better nights. Wow, they're putting in work. Wait, what? I only have one guy left? Oh, no, okay. They're, they're the rest of my guys. I was going to say, if we only got one guy left, we got to make sure he puts in the utmost of work. Come on, guys. Get him. Get him. There we go. Any more? I wouldn't be surprised if there was, like, one super strong one. Ah. I spoke too early. I said no sneakers. Buzz off. Um, I think you'll let it in somehow. 
What with my friend here? Hey, the fourth guy rejoined us. <laughs> Alright guys, just steady on. I'll sort this out. So, what do you say? Hmm. You seem like my kind of guys. Okay. But I need the password. Password? Guys, do you know what the password is? <laughs> they do? <laughs> Rock solid? <gasps> what? <laughs> Fidelio? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know everything. I'm the king. Well, I will be. Didn't you see the pro? <laughs> oh, nothing. Can we come in? Yeah. Let's have some fun. Okay. So into the club we go, I guess. Grab a little bit of HP just to be safe. I guess we'll head on in. I can't even imagine what's waiting for us in this prehistoric club. What? Barry? Oh, that's right. These are the guys that stole Barry. <laughs> Barry's like jamming out in her prison. <laughs> that's actually really funny. Um, alright. Are these guys gonna attack us, or what? What else am I trying to do here? What is this? Context, context sensitive. Oh, are we just getting hammered? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're, we're drunk conquer. We know that that can't be good. Look at these guys over here. Pretty cool looking. So the real question is, what do we do now that we're hammered? Look at, <laughs> look at those rocks. <laughs> what a character design. What a character design. Look at the butts. <laughs> so funny. And the bass drops. The music gets more intense. Conquer's pretty out of it. I guess the only other thing I can think of is maybe we were supposed to drink more than we actually did. Or maybe it's just a matter of time. And we're just kind of walking around waiting for him to pass out or something. Because I can't jump, I can't really do much in my current state. There's that plus button there, right? That I think might be relevant, but I can't do anything with it right now. So I guess we'll go back and see if we can drink some more. Stop stopping along the way, Conker. He just, he just stops the vomit. Okay. More? No? I, I guess not. He's definitely seen better days. What about this rock here? Looks like one of the rocks we can push. But oh man, are we not pushing it right now <laughs> while we're intoxicated. Should I have done that before I drank? Should I have hit that button before I drank? I don't know, I, but at the same time I feel like they wouldn't just break the game by having, you know, an unsolvable puzzle if you accidentally go one step too far forward. Not in a game like Conqueror's Bad Fur Day at least. Hmm. Can I talk to these guys? I can punch them. Are they gonna attack me back? They don't seem too happy, but they're getting back to raving, so I guess we'll let them be. Okay, that's what happens if I attack that guy. How about this guy just enjoying his time? They just hit me. <laughs> they straight up just hit me if I walk up to him. That guy was getting ready to swing, I don't know if you guys saw that. What are these doors? It looks like these are doors. I don't have much of a reason to think this would be the case, but maybe stepping on that switch will be different if I'm drunk. Like maybe I'll take off the hat or something and leave it there, or... I don't know. But I'm fairly confident... Well, maybe we'll just have to do it drunk. Maybe I'll have to leave and then come back, because... What I think we're going to end up having to do is roll that rock over onto the switch. 
And then once we have that on that switch, then we can do some other stuff, go through whatever door that switch unlocks. But right now, I can't think of anything to do specifically while drunk, nor, nor do I see it helping our cause for the one thing I do think I need to do. So for the time being, let's see if we can reset and be less intoxicated. Because otherwise it's gonna take forever if we slowly, and I mean very slowly, oh, we can't even exit. We can't even exit. All right, well, let's see what happens if I hit the switch. Anything different? No. Oh man. Um, all right, well, maybe if I save and quit and come back, that'll be the way to go. Which door does this open? It opens that one, okay. Because I actually don't have a lot of time to record anyways and need to get going, and I don't think walking around and then trying to get the boulder up here is going to be something I can do within the time frame I actually need. So, in the next episode, we'll see what's going on in this rock solid bar club. This rock solid club. All these dancing rock people. And we'll see if we can free Barry and see what else this prehistoric themed world has to offer. I think we're pretty close to finishing it up. It's been a fun one for sure. And I'll look into that other area with the bulldog and stuff to see if there's just something I'm missing. Because I'd like to explore that more too. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero. And this mission is complete. <laughs>